What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. Today's video is gonna be the first in a series of many uh, videos about mechanics. Uh, mechanics and RTS games in general, but specifically for this series, Company of Heroes. We're just gonna be using the mini-map, and I'm gonna show you how this should look, okay? So jumping into this game, we're just playing against the easy computer here. I'm teching up right now. I get a few different units out for us to, to play around with. And as you can see on my mini-map, my units are spread across the center of the map. Okay, what most players do, and this is the worst thing you can possibly do. The worst thing you can possibly do is this, in the middle of the game. Take your mouse and go to the corners of the map and be looking for your stuff. That's the worst thing you can do. Because in the, in the middle of a heated game, you're disoriented. You don't know what's going on. You're trying to grab this unit and move it. You're grabbing this unit and you're looking for your sniper. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Where's my other stuff? You're looking around. Oh, they're up here. Okay, uh, let me grab that and retreat that unit. Okay, and then this unit's here. And then you go all the way back down. You see how sporadic and chaotic that is? Um, the, the worst thing you can do is moving with, with your mouse to the, to the edges of the map and trying to navigate. Okay, the best thing you can do is utilize the mini map. If I wanna move from point this right point here to the left side of the map, Instead of dragging my cursor all the way across, which takes forever, what you could simply do is double click the mini map, right? And then double click the mini map again. You don't even have to double click, you can just single click. See that? You see how quick that is? And not only that, it fo it forces your eyes to go to the bottom left hand side of the of the mini map and look and look at the battlefield. A lot of players are so focused in what's before them on their screen. They're not seeing the full picture. So using the mini map allows you to also gain better context and perspective of, of what's really going on. So, okay, let's go ahead and make sure I tech. Let's just go ahead and grab this scout car here because I just want to have a scout car. Okay, I'm back at my base, right? I just jumped back to build a building. Okay, the worst thing you can do is, like we said, drag your screen across. The worst thing you could do is also use your arrow keys. It's the second worst thing you can do. Arrow keys are a little bit better. And a lot I think a lot of players, 99% of players are using these arrow keys. And mine are on high just because I like to move faster. But it, it takes a long time to move across the screen. See this? And it's very sporadic. It's very hard to find what's going on. Because generally, if you're using the arrow keys, you're looking at the screen in front of you. You're not looking at the mini maps. You don't know what you have. You have to keep diverting your attention back and forth. The best thing you can do is, like I said, move, click the mini map here, right? Grab this unit, put it back. You see your motor icon on your screen, move it. Grab these units, move them forward, go back here. And you could jump around the screen very, very fluidly. Co is, is a beautiful game. The mini map icons are fantastic. And they allow you to be able to see clearly everything that's going on. And they have little pings like this icon here. These units are under attack, right? So we can move them back. And then we can move back up here with the minimap. But if you have to if you have to go here, and then you have to go here to attack with, and then you have to go all the way over here with your screen, it's very slow, it's very inefficient. So there are many other mechanics that we could introduce that will help you as a player. But for this video, all I want us to focus on is the minimap. So, moving back and forth, always watching the minimap. Nice flank by the easy computer. Okay, grab this unit. Let's go ahead and move up. Okay, our units are reinforcing. Once again, we're using the minimap. Back to the battlefield. Retreat, but we're using the minimap. This will also allow you to multitask better and to think in a broader perspective instead of being so focused here. Because if you're limited by speed because you're using the mouse cursor to move around, you're also going to be limited in your mindset because you're only capable of so much. But if you if you open up your flexibility of, of, of your multitasking by using this minimap, it's going to improve your game in, in more ways than just one. Scout car has arrived. So a new scout car. We could hit spacebar, for example. Spacebar will bring you to the latest action. 
But for this video, once again, like I said, the minimap is a fantastic resource for multitasking. Okay, now for step two of this minimap series, the other thing I want us to focus on is not only the local minimap on the bottom left hand side, but also the tactical map, pulling up the tactical map with your hotkeys. You could do this with NumLock, you could change the settings for your hotkeys if need be, but that's another fantastic way of being able to grab these units on the left hand side, pull these units back, and then go right back to the action at, at your local side on the right hand side. So if my screen's on the right hand side, if I'm fighting a battle here and I want to focus my attention on this right hand side instead of left clicking the map and grabbing everything right if I want to do a large movement all I have to do is grab pull up the tactical map grab the units and pull back so the way I think about this is I like to use a tactical map for broad strokes right not for specific micro but for bigger movements so what I'm trying to articulate here is if I'm focused on this right hand side, let's say there's a battle going on and it's a very intense battle and I don't want to move my attention. You have to prioritize. Sometimes you have to compromise. You can't be microing in two areas at once. So if let's say you're engaging in a battle on this right hand side and on this left hand side, you're also engaging in a battle. Let's say that you're fighting head on right here as well. Okay, if this is the more important side that you're focused on and you're, in, and you're focused on staying on this screen. All you have to do is pull up the tactical map, grab these units, and pull them back, right? Or grab one unit and force it to retreat. And that will just allow you to be able to retain your units, to multitask on multiple fronts, to be able to maneuver uh, around the enemy flank. It just gives you such... Look at that perspective you now have when you pull up the tactical map. You're able to see everything that's going on, right? And... Um, for me, the minimap is one of the most crucial components in Company of Heroes 2. Mastering this will improve your game tremendously. So uh, I hope this helped. I know it's a short video. We're going to go into much more depth in the future in, on this channel, into mechanics, um, into the minimap as well. But I, I hope this helps as a starting point for improving your play.